could I possibly have a save which is both successful and fun to play? Because it's either fun to play but not very successful, or it's very successful... Actually, no, sorry, forget, forget that point, it's never successful. What am I even talking about? Benny Vento, more like Benny Ven- oh no. Oh crap, Larry, the, the budget is as stretched as it could be now. Do, do we really have to hire these script writers? Now, the last episode saw us pull off a shock in the Italian Cup as we beat High Flying Genoa away from home by two goals to nil with my new look team. And I thought from that period, we're going to push on, we're going to dominate Serie B, and this season is going to be over by March. Well, I can tell you that we've dominated one thing so far this season. Uh, we've uh, dominated the league in how boring we are playing. So, so far this season, we've played three games and uh, we've not scored in any of them so far. And an 88th minute penalty to Foggia in the last game meant that we lost the game. We were two minutes away from a third straight 0-0 draw. I mean, I spent the majority of my money in the transfer window on my attacking players. And not a single one of them has scored yet. I mean, at this rate, I'm going to be turning into Italy's version of Paul Lambert. And those two draws and a defeat leave us in 18th place. And we entertain Avellino next, who are a team that are currently top of the league. Good timing, that is. I did forget to mention this in the last episode, but our expectations this season is to win promotion. Obviously. Uh, but after the start we've had this season, I doubt I'm going to be the one to bring it to Benevento. Also, that win against Genoa also drew us against Fiorentina in the fourth qualifying round. And I did say in the last episode as well that we had made the first round. I was a bit premature there. Not for the first time once again. But it's a little bit annoying that I have to wait until December to play it. I mean, we played the third qualifying round in August. So why do I have to play the fourth one in December? And then apparently the first round is two weeks after that as well. It's not quite the FA Cup, is it? For the first time in the series, I'm able to register Rafael Marquez to the squad so I can finally use him. Uh, but in the meantime, seeing as he's not playing, I got him to tutor one of the youth players. And one of the great things Rafael taught Mattia Laporta was how to play as a defensive midfielder and how to transfer across channels, you know, possession of the ball, uh, possession of Class A drugs, but uh, did I mention possession of the ball? So just before the transfer window closed, uh, before the start of the season, I decided to bring in three more players to add to the squad depth because I found out that I had only registered 16 players for the season. 16 players, that's probably why I'm going wrong, I just don't have enough players. So the first of the three signs is Luca Marone joins us online from Juventus and he can play defensive midfielder, midfielder, well pretty much anywhere in midfield actually. Roberto Rodrigo also joins us from Serie B rival Salernitana uh, for 1.2 million. I was looking for a defensive forward to play alongside Catrone or Moisekina. Both of them got injured actually after I signed him so... He was probably to blame for that one. And finally, Bruno Gaspar joins us on loan from Fiorentina for the season. And he is going to be my backup right back, seeing as I found out I've only actually got one right back for the season. The finance screen also told me that we currently have 14 million in the bank. And that was very surprising to me because a lot of the series that I have, I end up financially crippling the side. So for once to actually be in profit is a good thing. Although it is helped by the fact that I'm not allowed to offer more than five grand a week uh, to players. So at least I can't be offering £90,000 a week to Gary Cahill in the championship and find out he's League One standard. I feel like that's a reference I always go back to in every series after Burnley. But I feel like that's a reference that I'm always going to carry with me for the rest of my life. Until I die at the age of 42. Sailor Natana also signed someone called Perfection. But that is a very long way of spelling Marvin Sordell. But this is the team that I've picked to play against Avelina at home. And uh, well I've decided to change the system in order to try and get us our first goal of the season so far. And the back four is different this week as uh, Swag here is how I think it's pronounced. Uh, plays alongside Gyombe in the central defensive positions. Castagnetti also makes his first start of the season playing in the anchorman role with Evangelista dropping back to partner Raman Chipsa in central midfield. Chicharetti and Wazakina also are on the wings once again and Roberto starts for the first time in this series up front. And my idiocy caused the fact that now we only have nine substitutes as I left a lot of the players that weren't playing in the reserves and they play today, so now they're ineligible to play in this game, which includes Patrick Catrone, the player that I've just brought in from AC Milan and I've been told will blitz the league. Alright, it's fair to say this season has gone exactly the same way last season did, where we're just not performing to the standards that I've set upon us. Those standards being that we need to avoid relegation, and at this rate, we're going to suffer a second successive relegation. But we do entertain a team that is pretty much a phrase that is used at Sunday League level. For example, oi!
You boys have a lino. I know, I know it's pronounced Avelino, but have a lino. Oh, I didn't realize this was a... Oh, Jesus. It was a derby as well. And I, I didn't even realize. I said the wrong team talk as well. I mean, if we could score a goal, that, that was actually be nice. Like, we haven't scored all season so far, except for the Italian Cup. Um, they nearly scored, by the way. So, yeah, we haven't scored in the first three league games of the season so far. So, if that could go any better... I mean, I spent big money on my strike force, you know, trying to improve them. And yet, we've ended up like the Italian Crystal Palace. Oh, we do get a highlight, though. We may have a chance. I mean, I've got two Serie A strikers in my front line, and they can't do anything. Oh, Kino finds Cicciaretti! Oh, it's a good save. Oh, my God. We're still waiting to see a score goal. It's almost like that age-old question, what's going to happen first this series ending or me scoring a goal i'll tell you what if we don't score a goal by the time this series ends i will not know why this hasn't been nominated for an oscar in comedy great it's nil nil half time again so we have now gone over 300 minutes without scoring a goal and one of my team analysis points is that we've had a good conversion of final third entries into shots yes but those shots aren't converting into goals are they this must be one of the easiest clean sheets a team could have we've been the better team here we have been now do it for the fans I should have said that again. Why did I not say that? Oh my god. I can't comprehend this. Still nothing. Still nothing. I, I do have a defensive forward up front because of my idiocy in getting uh, Catroni ineligible for this game. What do I do? Tuba Akpom, you're coming on for Cicciaretti. We're going to send on Akpom for Roberto. That's what we're going to do. Akpom is up front. Uh, Marone is coming on as well for Chibsa. Not sure if that's going to make a difference, but I hope so. Still nothing's happening. Still nil-nil. Still going to... Oh, my God. We can't draw nil-nil again this season, can we? There's nothing else I can do. We're going to draw nil-nil again. Oh, oh my God. We might not draw nil-nil. Kino. Chicharetti. Oh, my God. It's blocks. Oh, my God. It got blocks. That, that was the... Oh, four games without a goal. I just want to put this into... I want to put this into terms. We have not scored a single league goal this season, and we have conceded one in four games. And if it wants to make you feel any better, this time last season, I had scored 15 goals. I've scored zero so far. I've got three points, and I've scored zero goals. What a waste of money all these players were. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go